Welcome to Race Face TV and this week's episode of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start out at New Hampshire Motor Speedway and the United Sites Service 70 where we find three of the Race Face drivers. Ryan Vargas, Anthony Alfredo, and young Sam Mayer making his NASCAR k and Pro Series debut. This was a strange race starting out with limited time to practice because of the Xfinity and the Cup Series being there on the same weekend. The race was almost a sprint race consisting of only 70 laps on the flat one mile oval and a race that went without a caution. That resulted in the teams not being able to make any changes to the car and I don't think anyone saw that coming. Let's first look in on Ryan Vargas. He was in the Rev Racing number two NASCAR Technical Institute Toyota where he qualified 12th and brought home an 11th place finish. Ryan remains fifth in points heading to Iowa Speedway this weekend. Now Sam Mayer, who we said earlier, was making his debut in the NASCAR k and Pro Series, running the number 27 Titan Tire and Wheel Ford out of the Jefferson Pitts Racing Stable. Sam qualified 15th but fought a tight car all race and not being able to make those adjustments during the race because the team again never saw a caution flag. Sam ended up finishing 17th. I know this is not the finish that Sam wanted in his debut, but he ran all the laps, brought the car home with all the fenders on it, and he will take what he learned and move on to Iowa this weekend. Anthony Alfredo was the third race face driver competing at New Hampshire in his number 40 Seco Building Systems Toyota, where he qualified fourth. Anthony ran in the top five all day, but as we said earlier, this was a 70 lap race that saw nothing but green flags. Anthony's car was definitely strong in the closing laps, but he just ran out of laps finishing third. Anthony remains fourth in points, just six points out of third heading to Iowa Speedway this weekend. Let's now go out west where we find 13 year old Jesse Love in his number 38 Home Smiles wingless sprint car. Jesse was at Placerville Speedway for the first time in the Hunt Magneto Sprint Car Series. The field was stacked with over 25 cars and some of the top drivers in the country competing on this quarter mile dirt track better known as Knoxville on the Hill, referring to Knoxville Raceway in Knoxville, Iowa. This track was literally cut out of a hillside, giving it higher banking and covered with dark red clay racing surface. This is a track that was on Jesse's bucket list for 2018. Jesse actually was not scheduled to run this race, but because of USAC's involvement with the BCRA midgets at Petaluma Speedway, his age kept him from competing in that race, and we'll see him probably lose the points lead as well. Okay, back to Placerville. Jesse qualified 12th, then finished fourth in his heat race and brought home a 12th place finish in the A main. Up next for Jesse, junior late models at Madera Speedway this weekend where he leads the championship going into round five. Now race face driver Sheldon Creed was at Berlin Raceway for the ARCA Racing Series Primera Plastics 150 where he entered that race with a 185 point lead over teammate Zane Smith. However, Mother Nature did not cooperate and that race was canceled due to rain. The race was rescheduled for August 25th. The ARCA Racing Series will be back at the Tricky Triangle this weekend at Pocono Raceway. Now Adam Lemke had a rare off weekend but will be back in action this weekend at Madera Speedway in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series where he is coming off three consecutive top 10 finishes including two in the top five. Adam also leads the USAC Western Midget Series overall championship. Let's now take a look at our race face next drivers. Bryce Bizanson was at Dimming Speedway for the Clay Cup Nationals for three nights of racing that saw the largest turnout, 41 cars in the history of this event. Because of a bad qualifying run, Bryce had his work cut out for him on the final day of racing. He went from 8th to 2nd in the C main, then from 18th to 7th in the B main, before getting collected in a wreck that ended his weekend. Up next, Legends Cars at South Sound 
on July 28th. Joe Valento was back behind the wheel of his micro sprint at Port City Raceway just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma on Saturday. He broke a chain in the heat race and had to start eighth in the B main, but drove up to a third and qualified directly into the A main. Joe had to start at the back in the A main in a tough field, fought a tight car for the whole race, finishing up in 17th position. Up next for Joe, micro sprints, Princeton Speedway on August 24th. That's it for this week's driver updates. Remember, if you need to catch up on a show that you missed, go to raceface.tv on demand. Want to connect with your favorite Raceface driver? Visit raceface.tv, click on RF drivers, and there you will find a link to their websites and their social media platforms. Please like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash raceface TV. I want to thank you for tuning in, and as always, go out and support local racing in your community, and we'll see you back here next week.